for inventing the beautiful subject of calculus. And by clicking on this video, you're obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach for you. Without any further ado, let's begin. Bye, Newton. In the do now, which we have readily right over here, we had to use this equation. We had to take the limit of a ratio of functions. The limit is x approaches 5 of the limit is x approaches 5. So g of x over f of x. Now let's just simplify this statement. Say that we have the limit is x approaches n, n being any real number. of the ratio of any two functions f of x over g of x. So we found that this must be actually equal to, this must be equal to the limit if x approaches n, let me, give me a second. The limit is x approaches n of of x over the limit is x approaches n of g of x. All right, so this is our statement. So we can write it as saying <coughs> the limit of the ratio of two functions is the ratio of the limit of those functions. Alright, so that is our statement. And let's see how everything in this equation corresponds with that statement. Oops. Sorry. So, let's copy that. So, how does everything in this equation correspond with that? So, the limit of the ratio of two functions so the limit of the ratio of two functions and we can very obviously see what the limit is and the ratio is. So we obviously know that then we have is of those functions. So we know The ratio of the limit of those functions, so the ratio of the limit, just drag that over here, is because we have this, we have this, this ratio, and then we also have these, the limits. And it's mentioned the ratio of the limit of those functions. The functions being f of x and g of x. So that's how everything corresponds in that equation. So, now, that's just one of the five equations. The five limit laws, actually. The limit of the sum of two functions always be equal to the sum of the limit of the addends. So, in this case, the addends are f of x and g of x. So let's just stick a sticky note up there of 
of two functions is the sum of the at the limits of those functions. All right, sticky note complete. So now I'll give you some time to look at that and time's up. So now let's look. It means that the limit is x approaches n of f of x times g of x is the product of those limits. Of the, is the product of the limits of those functions. This time you gotta write it down on your own, not making a sticky note for you. By the way, yeah, I'm not making a sticky note. Limit of the limit is x approaches n c times f of x. When you multiply, when you multiply a constant by f of x, and when you multiply a constant by f of x and take the limit of the entire thing, it will give you the constant times the limit of the function f of x. The limit is x approaches n of f of x minus g of x, c limit law 1. So that's just going to be an exact copy with the slight change of symbols. Okay, so these are the four other limit laws included with the fifth limit law up over here. And we want you to find how each of the five laws were applied in here. Trust me, we only made it so long because we needed to apply all five of these laws into one equation. So, 